Well, the premise of Young Rock is we take a look and we examine my earlier years when I was a little boy, my earlier years when I was a teenager, um, early teenage years, and then uh, my later teenage years as I got to the University of Miami. And, you know, like in life, we all have these ups and downs, and I've had my fair share of them. And the idea of seven bucks and the spirit of seven bucks uh, is laced throughout the show. And the spirit of seven bucks is this idea that we've all been down. Um, and the real test is how we're able to bounce back from those challenging times when we get knocked down. And for me, seven bucks is has become a rallying cry of a time in my life where um, when I was 23 or 24 years old, that's exactly what I had in my pocket. I was actually 23 years old and I had seven bucks in my pocket when I was cut from the Canadian Football League and forced to move back in with my parents in Tampa, Florida. So we have the, the spirit of overcoming um, challenges and odds are laced throughout uh, the Young Rock series, but not only my own, um, it is, it's my family. It's my grandmother, my grandfather, it's my dad, my mom. Um, and a lot of people who have, uh, I've had the privilege of um, intersecting with uh, throughout my life, including the wildly crazy and unpredictable world of professional wrestling at a time when pro wrestling wasn't as global, um, globally successful as it is today. My parents had a big influence on my, on my growing up and, and on my life, and they still do. Um, as I sit and do this interview, it is November 2020, and uh, I lost my dad January uh, earlier this year. So uh, my dad, uh, you know, he checked out just like that, and I never had a chance to say goodbye to him. Uh, and that's the kind of stuff that sometimes we have to reconcile with in life. My mom has been a strong influence on me too as well. Uh, growing up my entire life, we've always had a very close relationship. So they are featured prominently in, in Young Rock um, as uh, I was a little boy. Uh, and my mom following, my mom and I following my dad around the world as he wrestled. So, you know, the relationship I have with my parents um, was a was a tight one because we uh, we were I was an only child and we were we always kept very close uh, but it was also a unique one that had a unique perspective uh, with my mom and also had a very unique challenging perspective with my dad who came from an era and a time uh, of a black man who um, really believed in uh, strong discipline and tough love. And that's how I was raised. And we see that, and we examine that in, in Young Rock. Well, I grew up in the world of pro wrestling. My dad was a professional wrestler. My grandfather was a professional wrestler. Um, my grandmother was the first female wrestling promoter. Um, and then since then, my cousins, my uncles, come from a very long line and lineage of professional wrestlers. Um, my dad had a very... Um, he had a very successful career in the world of professional wrestling. He came up in the world of professional wrestling in the 60s and in the 70s, and his career peaked in the 80s. But in the 60s and the 70s, um, when he came over and he started wrestling, uh, he came over, he, was, he originally started wrestling in Canada. Uh, then he started, then he went on into, into the Detroit territory at that time. And, and everywhere he went, racial tension was very high. So, you know, he... He wasn't in investment banking at that time. He was in the world of professional wrestling where there was a really hardcore seedy underbelly to that world. And he had to fight his way and, and circumvent a lot of racial landmines, but also fight through that shit and really um, become successful um, in every territory he went to. Um, territory meaning the promotion. At that time in wrestling, there were local promotions and it wasn't one big conglomerate as it is today with the WWE. Living on the road with my dad, I lived in 13 or 14 states 
my dad and my mom and myself, but by the time I was 13 years old, also lived in New Zealand <clears throat> and traveled really extensively. So I was never in one place for too long. Maybe we stayed there for a year, year and a half maybe. Uh, and then we hit the road again and we traveled on down the road uh, to the next place where we would live for about a year or so. So the exposure I think was great and it exposed me to different uh, ways of life, different perspectives. The challenge was there wasn't a, um, a real um, fundamental um, uh, consistency in, in terms of home life and always being on the road. So, and, and especially in that world of professional wrestling, pro wrestling at that time, when I was growing up as a little boy in the 70s and the 80s was much different than it is today. And you learn lessons very, very quickly, sometimes hard and harsh, um, but ultimately really invaluable lessons. So, you know, these are all the things that we explore in Young Rock and, um, you know, what we have found uh, so far with creatively from the NBC network um, to uh, our show creator, Nanachka Khan, Jeff Chang, uh, everybody involved um, have really found these stories to be really quite unbelievable and, and astounding at times that I'm even sitting here. So I've had this life that I like to say is a very Forest Gumpian life because I've intersected with so many just wild and 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 uh, and unpredictable uh, times and moments and individuals <clears throat> in the world of pro wrestling. So the exposure was great growing up with my dad, but also growing up with my dad again, he was um, he was all about tough love. 